It is time once again for the Real Man's Review. This is Thumbs Up or Down with your man DJ Nike and... and me, Aaron Trailer. We're talking about Straight Outta Compton this oh, yeah. weekend. Oh my gosh, what a movie! It was awesome. Now, what'd you, what'd you think? What'd you think? Coming from that scene, as a DJ back in the day, right. spinning at clubs, I mean, it was so dead on accurate. I mean, the, the, looking at the backdrops and the way they brought back the early... 90s, late 80s, I could totally relate to it. Everything felt so authentic. Right. I almost felt like I was watching an old John Singleton Boys Out of Hood movie again. Yeah, right. It really brought all those feelings back. Whether or not it surpassed those old classics, I, we'll, we'll go more into detail about that in a second here, but uh, your initial thoughts, what do you think? I was a little scared to check it out. Now, you know, of course, all of the re- review people had been saying, oh, this is awesome, blah 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 but I wanted to make sure that it was authentic and not just another, you know, gangster hip hop movie, kind of like, you know, uh, 50s movie, Get Rich or Die Trying. Or even right. even though I liked that one and 8 Mile, I was just hoping it wasn't going to be in the same style. So I, I like, for one, that they got actors, not rappers. They got actual actors to play the roles. So I, I think that made it better as far as the storyline and everything. Yeah, they really did a good job finding someone to match the personality that they were acting. I mean, Dr. Dre was authentic. Right. He had uh, Ice Cube. I couldn't tell the difference between the two of them, even as they aged from right. the uh, curl-activated uh, locks to uh, <laughs> shaving his head. It was really uh, an impressive feat to see such uh, authentic actors. And I guess we keep using that word authentic because it really did feel like that. Right. Well, I know for one, and this was this was one of the first thing they released when they said they were going to do the movie, was that Ice Cube's son, O'Shea Jr., would actually be playing him. And that made it even much more authentic because they look he looks just like his father and sounds like him as well. In fact, you just now taught me. I had no idea that that was even... His son. Well, Crazy. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Now, um, as for the movie itself, the storyline uh, felt a little drawn out. There were some parts that I felt uh, could have had a little bit of improvement. Easy E's character I thought was a little soft, and I'm not sure if that really was him behind the scenes because he was always, to me, the uh, antithesis of what a real gangster would be like. Hardcore, stone right. cold. Uh, I, I do you know, assume that when you are going through a a debilitating disease like HIV, right. you tend to soften up a little bit. But even before then, it felt like he was kind of a pawn in the game and not exactly as hardcore as I expected. Now, Suge Knight, on the other hand... <laughs> yeah, they just, nailed him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you feared for people's lives whenever he stepped into the frame. Right. All in all, I think this is one of the better summer movies. I would honestly give this a definite thumbs up. Definitely. Now, one thing I will say, I thought, uh, like speaking on Easy... I think that they were trying to deal more with the storyline of the music because they did say that, you know, he started up the company Ruthless Records with drug money. But I, I like the fact that they didn't go, you know, showing all of that. They they didn't really need to get into dive into that for the story to still be authentic. So I, that was one of the points that I actually liked. Yep. All in all, just a great movie and definitely worth uh, seeing. And pros- even if you're a huge music fan, collect it. Keep it on a DVD oh, yeah. and just uh, put it up on the shelf as a time capsule as to oh, what yes. the uh, late 80s and early 90s was. And I will also say it seems that this movie is transcending all kind of racial and gender and age ranges. There were a couple of, like, in their late 50s, early 60s white ladies that were sitting right down the row from me. So it was great to see that. Whether you are a fan of hip-hop, gangster music or not, this is just a good movie. Definitely want to check it out. And you're definitely giving it a thumbs up along with me. Oh, yeah, all the way. Straight out of Compton, currently in theaters right now. What's next? What are we going to go see? I don't know. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Oh, man. Give us a minute. and uh, At the same time, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll decide what's going to be on the big screen next that we'll both review with another edition of Thumbs Up. Or Down. <laughs> with me, Aaron Trailer. And your man, DJ Nike. See you Take next care. week. Bye.